everyone in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a bow tie on Desmos the equation that really defines the whole shape it's called lemon skates Bernoulli it looks something like this x squared plus y squared the whole thing squared equals a squared times x squared minus y squared let's add a slider you can see that we get this infinite loop shape and the way we get this to look more like a bow tie with sharper turns is by is by increasing these exponents in even amounts and first off let's replace these so we're going to generalize this equation replace all all the exponents with n sub 0 And now if you increase this by even amounts, you can see that we're getting sharper turns here. If you want this bigger, you can just increase your A value here. And I'm going to bring this up. I mean, if you want this bigger, bigger you can. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to stick with this for the purpose of this tutorial and the next piece is to put a um, is to put a knot in the center so for that let's make a another variable here and this is going to replace our ellipse exponents so this is actually x squared right now And we should have a radius. And we can't use R because I think R is reserved for polar equations. And, and so we call it R sub zero. And so now you can see, well, let's just go with six to keep it different from what we have here and then we can bring this radius down I think point 0.1 is fine if you don't like the scale of this you can always make this one bigger that is fine for the time being And then finally, let's define inequalities for the bow tie. And this one, we're just going to approximate a little bit. And so, so this one, this one is looking like it's just past the 0.5, so we're going to call it 0.6. And yes, in most cases, you're able to, to see that it, you're able to see decimals to find the intersection points here. Uh, in this case, we're just going to approximate it. So let's do minus 0.6 is greater than all of x, so that will give the left half. And then we'll do 0.6 is greater than, than the rest of x. The reason we don't need, need to find an upper bound is because the upper bound is, is wherever, wherever our range of x value ends, the domain. So, so, so in this case, we don't have anything going off to infinity or anything crazy like that. So we're, so we're sort of fine not defining an upper bound. Let's call it this. Uh, and, so, and so to do that, I'm 
I think we can get by with just making this an making this an inequality. So make this less than or equal to, and and then we make this a less than or equal to. Yeah, have yourself a quick bow tie. If you want to clean this up, feel free. Um, but I like to just keep this video short. Um, you can even, if you really want to, you can throw throw a bit of wrinkling in here. Um, but, I'll, but I'll leave the remaining as the X up to you. This is the main equation I, want, I wanted to showcase in this video and and let you take a bow tie home. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like. If you if there's something that you want to see explained better, let me know in the comments. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.